All right, guys, it is day two. Um, I have something to admit. I tried last night my best to sleep on the ground. Um, I tried for, I think it was like three or four hours. It was 6.30 in the morning, and my back was just totally ruined. I was going to throw out my, my back completely. Um, the pillows just weren't high enough, which I could have gone and got more pillows to elevate my head, uh, but it was causing my shoulders to kind of like be crushed together it was super uncomfortable and then just the way my back was on the ground it just was not working um, and I was thinking I was going to push through and stick it out through the day so I could go get some stuff today to make it more comfortable but I did the math and all those those little pillows are like the only thing they really have that I could make a bed out of um, and I would need like 200 of those things they didn't even have 200 of those things at the Dollar Tree um, so just, it wasn't going to be possible. My back was going to be thrown out if I did it. And that would just ruin the whole video. The rest of the five days would be pretty terrible. So I did end up just going to my bed last night. So I've decided to make a new rule. I can sleep in my bed at night, just in my bed at night. Uh, when I go to bed, other than that, I do still need to be in here. But I did try, guys. I tried my best to make it and try to find a way to sleep. But I think this one, I'll just have to say... It's not very possible. I mean, it is if you had like 200 of those pillows, but I can't spend $200 on pillows and they I didn't even have those. I'd have to go to like 10 different Dollar Trees and buy all the pillows they had. Moving on from that, I'm still doing everything else the same, still in this room, um, other than when I sleep in the bed. But I think it's just definitely going to make it a lot better. Sleeping on the ground was... I think it would ruin the whole thing because I was just going to be so tired it just really wouldn't work. So, So here's the new rule added there. I can sleep in the bed at night. I've officially added it to the list. But despite that, guys, I've got a lot of things I'm going to be trying to do today. I planned everything out last night. planned out pretty much my whole week. Uh, meals and all those type of things. I have some pretty good meals that I can make. But right now, I'm going to be off to the Dollar Tree so I can get some breakfast. I'm hungry, so... I'm actually going to take a shower before I go real quick. So I'm going to see how these four little tiny microfiber cloths that I found are going to work for drying off. Uh, I feel like I'm going to have to do a lot of air drying because I think it's these aren't going to do too much for me. But I'm excited to take a shower. I'm glad that that's one of my rules that I can take a shower. I've got my shampoo from the Dollar Tree and my toothbrush and toothpaste. That shower felt amazing. I literally felt like I just like won the challenge on Survivor where you get to go take a shower and stuff. That's kind of what I felt like right now. Um, even though I just took one yesterday, it's still I'm in the same clothes and stuff and just taking a shower felt amazing. The cloths that I use, they worked actually pretty well. I just used one and it wiped me up, dried me off pretty well. I was like pretty shocked that it was able to dry off as much as it was. But the problem with it was as soon as it was like done, as soon as it like reached as much as it could hold, wiping myself would just like make me wet then because it was like totally full of water. So, but they worked pretty well. I'm pretty, pretty shocked about that. But I got my toothbrush here that I got and um, turned it on. It does vibrate, so... I, one dollar for a toothbrush. I'm sure it doesn't work as that well, but it does vibrate. It actually feels pretty good. It really feels like it kind of works well. All right, my teeth are clean. I'm I'm clean. Time to go back to the Dollar Tree. Look who's here at the Dollar Tree. The bread truck. That means there's going to be fresh bread. Guys, I am so glad that I did not continue to stay sleeping on the floor last night because my back still hurts so bad. I kept waking up and I would try to like move or switch sides that I was laying on and I literally couldn't even breathe half the time because my back was so screwed up that it was like hurting my lungs. So I'm so glad I didn't do it because I think I would have just ruined the entire challenge. I don't think, uh, well, I don't think I could have made it the five days. I probably would have been in the hospital or something. But yeah, it, it just really would have messed it up. I wouldn't be able to walk around and stuff. So all right, guys, I am back from the Dollar Tree, getting my breakfast and lunch today. Uh, let me show you guys what I got. I got another gallon of water because I know I'm gonna need more water. I got some metal forks because. These will help with cooking. I didn't like how I had to stir with the plastic because it kind of melts and I don't know if that's really safe. I got two glass bowls. Um, I'm thinking I can, first of all, use these obviously for eating out of, but I think maybe I could put the flame under this and it can heat this up and make hot water by doing that. I have another idea if that doesn't work. I'm afraid these might crack, so I don't really want to do that because I don't want to put too much heat and then they shatter because they're too much heat. But then I got... A bunch more cans of fuel because I know I'm gonna need them, so I got four more of those. 
So what I'm having for breakfast is I got some yogurts, which comes with four, so I gotta eat them all because they'll get hot and I won't be able to eat them. Then I got some granola bars, um, milk, and cereal. So today I'm keeping it simple again. And then for lunch today, I'm gonna do hot dogs. Um, again, something that's decently simple because if these don't get cooked all the way, they're fully cooked already. So I'm not gonna get sick from it. And then I got some some bread. And then I got some Chex Mix and mustard, which I forgot the day before. And then this was pretty cool. I actually found um, pasta salad that they had. And it does need vegetable oil, so I found a little bottle of vegetable oil. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try to make the pasta salad. So this will be kind of the first thing that I'll really be trying to cook um, to heat up some water to make. And I know it might not be completely to the directions where it says like, you know, bring it to a boil and then keep it in there. I might not ever be able to get it to a boil really. Um, so I may just kind of throw it in and feel, feel around until it feels like a softness that you can eat. Let's go ahead and skip forward to my breakfast. Opening this milk reminds me of grade school days. You get milk in the cafeteria. All right, so here's my breakfast. Reese's Puff cereal, that's actually my favorite cereal. I love Reese's Puffs. And then four containers of this yogurt. So this is kind of turning into a weird um, eating challenge of yogurt, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I love yogurt. And then two granola bars, so pretty good breakfast. And now I'm just left with the best part, delicious cereal milk. <sighs> Smash that like button if you're somebody who doesn't want to waste their delicious cereal milk. Now on to the four yogurt. I feel like I'm doing like mukbang now. I don't understand how people even do mukbang. Why you'd want to just sit there and watch somebody eating. But if you're watching this right now, that's what you're doing. This yogurt's texture is a little strange, a little like chalky. I'm not sure why. It's got me a little worried, especially since I'm eating four containers of it. There's a lot of yogurt. Oh, that's all four of them. That was a lot of yogurt. And like I said, it tasted a little funny. There was a lot of dairy going on now in my stomach with the milk and this. Hopefully these were not bad. I'm a little worried because I know I see people a lot of times at the Dollar Tree put like put stuff out on shelves. Like something like this that should be refrigerated. And I always wonder, do the workers just go take it off the shelf and put it right back? Like after it's been sitting out for like a day? If this is bad, Oh man, I'm gonna be so sick because that was a ton of yogurt. Now, I think I'm only gonna eat one granola bar because I'm pretty full from that. Let me just show you guys what has happened to this room. It's really gotten destroyed. There's just stuff everywhere. I mean, this room was filled with random crap. Um, I think I've spent like around $90 already. So $90 spent at the Dollar Tree means that there are 90 items in this room that I've added from going to the Dollar Tree and that doesn't even count things that come with multiple items for one dollar so there's a lot of things I've added to this room it's getting a little bit messy and it's only day two I'm gonna give my dog Tyson one of these treats I think he's gonna love it Tyson sit here come here sit sit you want a treat you want a treat there you go He'll probably sit there for like two hours now. And the gamer man. Okay, so we're gonna make hot dogs. Hot so, diggity dog. And pasta salad. So I gotta heat both these up. Hot dogs are not as important, but we'll heat them up so they taste a little better. So this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. This is supposed to be actually holding this. I forgot to buy two of these, so I need to get a second one. So I'm just gonna use these bowls right now because they actually kind of work. And this gives me like a double burner setup. So I'm going to put water in this one and the hot dogs in this one so I can cook them both at the same time. And I know this looks pretty dangerous. It is. <laughs> so the pasta salad says to put in a two quart saucepan, fill it one half full. So I mean this is about a two quart saucepan. It's pretty big. I'm going to go ahead and just pour some water in here. All right, so our first setup didn't work super well because I didn't have the other pan that I needed. I forgot to buy it. 
So this one is a much more dumb idea than what we had before. So this one should work way better than what we had. I guess we'll just sit here and wait until the water gets a little bit warm. All right, so we have a few concerns. One is that this pan um, could be releasing some type of chemicals into the food. I don't think it will because it's supposed to go in the oven and it says it's made of steel, so I don't think there should be any type of chemicals that get released. I know it might ruin the pans completely doing this, but I think it should still be safe to eat as long as it doesn't just burn completely through the pan. But um, sticking my finger in here, it's warm. That's, that's more than warm. It's like decently hot now. So it's definitely working. It smells good. I forgot a strainer. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pasta in. It's not boiling yet, but I gotta put it in and I'll just kind of watch it to see when it gets soft. Um, we don't have a strainer, so I use this paper cup to just poke holes in it, so I can use that as a strainer. Hopefully that works. I'd say it's pretty much done at this point. Maybe a slight bit crunchy, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. Um, so I'm going to try <laughs> to pour it into this cup. I feel like this is going to be a disaster, but we'll just see what happens. That's going very slow. This pan is heavy. <laughs> So that's drained enough. <laughs> I don't want to tempt it or it'll fall, so I'm just going to put this in the bowl. So there we go. That's pasta salad. Tastes good. The pasta texture is actually kind of mushy, though. It's sizzling. Definitely sounds like it's working. <laughs> They're moving around on their own. Yeah, I can see them through one. Frank! Help! Frank, help me! You know how I know their name is Frank? It's a bunch of Franks. They look good! All right, well, I'd say that they're they're warmed up. They're not hot, but you know what? That works for right now. If you were at a picnic having hot dogs anyway, they're probably just room temperature, so this works. All right, so after about an hour of work, I think, we have hot dogs, pasta salad, and some Chex Mix. Um, that took a lot longer than I was hoping to make hot dogs and uh, pasta salad, so. <laughs> but hey, it's done, and now we can enjoy. How is it? A hot dog. <laughs> Is it a warm hot dog? <laughs> he even made me a plate. How sweet. Alright, so that lunch took me quite a bit longer than I was expecting. I thought I could get it done a little bit quicker, but I couldn't. So some of these meals that I got planned, they're gonna definitely gonna be a little frustrating. There's definitely gonna be some issues trying to make them. But hey, I guess that's just part of the plan, part of the process of trying to live on the Dollar Tree only. So right now I'm going out to the Dollar Tree again. I need to get um, supplies for the dinner I'm making tonight. And that's gonna be pizza. So I'm excited for that. All right guys, I'm back from the Dollar Tree. And I got everything I need for pizza. So they have this nice little thin crust pizza crust thing. Which is pretty cool that they have these so you can actually make pizza. Then I got some sauce, uh, just a can of sauce. Won't need much of that. And then they also do have pepperonis that they sell. And then they don't have um, just regular like cheese for pizza. So they just got this, I got this pepper jack that I got for my sandwich before. It's the closest thing that they really have to pizza cheese. Um, I think it'll be okay. It'll just be a little bit spicy. Um, and then I got a Twix ice cream bar and a Snickers ice cream bar uh, for my wife. The Twix is for me, the Snickers is for my wife. We're going to eat those first, and then we'll fire up our oven, <laughs> and we'll see how this works. I'm a little nervous about it. I don't know if it's going to work great, but I guess we'll find out here. That pizza was surprisingly not too bad. I'm really shocked about that. I thought it would be kind of questionable, but it really wasn't too bad. I'm a little shocked. But if you guys want to watch the full video of us making that pizza, here's the link right here. It'll also be in the description. What's up, guys? Puzzle time! Until you've tried to record without any kind of table and stuff, you don't know how hard this is to set up shots. Hey guys, so 
<laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build a puzzle. Uh, it's gonna be really fun. And I got this nice little poster board, like project display board, from the Dollar Tree, for a dollar, obviously. So this is our puzzle that we got. <laughs> this is a 1,000 piece puzzle, by the way. And these pieces are so small, I don't even know if you can see. They're tiny. I've never seen a puzzle piece this tiny before. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Doing a puzzle. We did. We got a blue guy done. You see him? <laughs> He's creepy. Alright guys, so it is getting a little bit late today. I'll show you. I have done some of the puzzle. I got most of the border done. It is a thousand piece puzzle, so it's going to take a while. And these pieces are tiny, so they're a little hard to deal with. But the worst part about trying to do the puzzle right now is not having a table just sitting on the floor. It hurts so bad. I'm like leaning down, like leaning on my arms. My shoulders are like killing me from leaning over. So that brings me to actually what I want to talk about right before I'm done for day two here. I kind of wanted to just talk about um, some of the things that have been hard about doing this and some of the things that have been fun about doing it. So far, the things that I would say have been hard are the things that I just really missed. Probably the biggest thing that I missed, and it's kind of funny, is just chairs. Having a chair or a couch or something to sit on, just sitting on the floor all the time, it's so annoying. I'm sick of sitting on the floor. I can't, that's probably like one of the biggest reasons I just can't wait for this to be done, to get to the end where I can sit on a couch again or a chair or something. Sitting on the floor is so annoying. So that's been probably one of the hardest parts. And then obviously like cooking. The oven thing worked decently well. Heating up water worked decently well. It's all just very slow. It makes me really happy for what we do have and how quick we can do things uh, today with the stuff that we have uh, easily accessible. And then I really... Um, just miss the other areas of my house <laughs> like uh, Yesterday it felt like I wrote down some notes and stuff as the day went on and my notes said I miss the other areas of my house and then later I went back and wrote I feel like I'm in jail and then later that night when it was really late I wrote I feel like I'm going crazy and I really did I kind of feel like I was going crazy and then getting to um, sleeping on the ground last night that was the roughest part so far and I'm glad I'm not doing it anymore I just it's not possible because I it was killing my back I would not even be able to finish the rest of the videos but yeah it's um it's going along I thought you know it would be a little bit easier than it is I mean I shouldn't think it's easy I'm literally just living off the Dollar Tree in a room so it shouldn't really be that easy it's supposed to be a challenge so it's day two I'm glad that day two is coming to an end and I was able to make it through um, almost halfway through that's pretty exciting but I would say that my favorite thing so far is just being able to get like the snacks I want and stuff because it's like oh, I can just pick out whatever snacks I want so that's been pretty fun it's been pretty cool um, also puzzles are fun I really like to work puzzles kind of get to go back to like the old times and just do like some of the you know not getting on the internet not watching TV um, just getting to enjoy time um, my wife came in here just talking to her and stuff and like Playing with my dog a little bit. It's a little bit hard to play in here with him because he tries to get into everything because um, he's still a puppy. But it's just been fun kind of slowing down a little bit. And the first day was really tough with that because it's like you kind of have to break that cycle of getting on the Internet and, um, you know, just all the things you're so used to. Um, I could tell with my routine, I really just wanted to go out into my family room, sit on the couch and watch TV. That's what I really wanted to do the first day. And it was hard to break that. And today I'm kind of like, eh, it's not it's not too bad. Like I'm fine with being in here and working a puzzle but yeah so it's it's interesting it's to me it's going decently well I can't believe it's almost halfway done and at the same time I can't believe I still have half of this left but it's yeah it's it's been going well and I think right now I'm probably just going to read a chapter of this book that I got and then just go to bed and that's that's it and then I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow I've already got my breakfast here which is nice because I can just cook it tomorrow once I get up I just have to heat up some water so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. That's cheap. You still haven't subscribed? Oh my god, come on, what are you waiting for?